Hey everybody, this is the Marine. One of the biggest issues with hammock camping is finding a way to protect yourself from the elements like the sun, rain, snow, or the wind. And the best way to accomplish this is with a tarp. Now when it comes to hammock camping, there's a little bit of a learning curve to it. When you throw a tarp into it, now it makes it even a little more complicated. In this episode, we're gonna look at how to set up the tarp by using a ridge line. And there's basically two types of ridge line, and I'm gonna show you how to use them and more. Now some people say there's a third way to hang your tarp and that's attaching it to the hammock suspension but I highly recommend that you don't do that. I recommend that you use these two types of ridge line and the first one's a continuous ridge line and the second one is called a two line tarp suspension. Now I'm going to begin with each type starting with the least expensive to what I believe is the most effective way to hang your tarp. Most hammock hangers will often choose a continuous ridge line to hang their tarps between two trees. This type of suspension has two main parts. First, it has one long piece of cordage that is tied between two trees. It is usually between 25 to 30 feet, seven and a half to nine meters long. You can use either knots or metal hardware to secure the ridge line between the two trees. The second is a pair of Persic knots attached to the ridge line. You attach each end of the tarp to the Persic knot so you can slide the tarp back and forth along the line in order to quickly position it. So you first take your cordage like paracord. I prefer to use a cordage called Zingit. It is made out of a urethane coated Dyneema fiber. Now to attach the first end to the tree, I like to tie in a loop on the end of the cordage. There's different ways of tying a loop on the end and I'm just gonna show you two of them. So what you do is you make a loop, pull that through, and you secure this back end, the loose end, and just tie a regular overhand knot. And now you have a loop. Now the next one, you come up about eight to 10 inches, you grab the end, you make a loop, and you tie an overhand knot. And now you have a loop knot, and this is very secure. You don't have to tie the end out. This is not going anywhere, but you wanna cut off this loose end. And then I wrap it around the tree. Feed the other end through the loop. And then about two feet from the other tree, I like to tie in another loop. Now with the cordage wrapped around the tree, you want to go about two feet down from the tree, grab it, twist it, and make a loop. You reach in this loop and you grab the line that's connected to the tree that you just wrapped around and pull a loop out. You take the end of the cord, put it through that loop, and then you pull it nice and taut. Then what you do is you pinch this end by the loop. You bring this over and under and you make another loop. You pull it nice and tight you can tie another slip knot or tie the loop in an overhand knot so it does not come undone. Now once you have the ridge line up, you want to tie in two Persic knots on each end. So what you want to do is take a thin cordage like Zing It, tie a knot or splice to make a loop for each one. And cut them to about six inches in length or 15 centimeters. Now take them and attach them to the ridge line by first laying them on the cordage, then reach around and pull the other end through three times. Reach through the top and grab the bottom part and bring it through the top loop and you do it three times. That's two. And that's three. And then I'll pull that tight. So you got this loop hanging out, 
and then I'll dress it push it nice and tight now you can take this knot and slide it up and down very easily but when you hook the tarp up and you go to pull on it it will not move it's nice and tight on there and it's easily to adjust your tarp to the position you want now to attach the Persic knot to the tarp you can use a small piece of cordage and tie a knot or the best way is to use a small carabiner Now for people starting out or car campers on a budget, I will always recommend to get a cheap poly tarp from a department store. A 12 by 10 or 10 by 8 will work just fine. But the problem with these tarps, when you put it over the ridge line, there's no grommet in the middle to hook up to the Persic knot. Now the solution to this is something I'd like to share with you that works just great. First you cut out two pieces of cordage, small in diameter, about 6 inches or 15 centimeters, and you want to tie a loop on each end. Then you find two small stones. So you want the edges on the stone rounded. You don't want no sharp edges. Take the six inch, 15 centimeter cordage with the two loops tied to each end. And then what I'll do is put one loop in the other, like so. Then I'll take my rock, put it inside the tarp and I'll ball it up. Then I take that loop, put it around, and pull it tight. And now that will hold the tarp secure. Now, I don't think it really damages the tarp at all, but this is a really slick way of doing it. Then I hook it up to the carabiner, and then I can adjust my tarp. And this will hold it on there nice and taut. If you don't have a grommet here, all you need to do is find a small stone that's rounded, ball it up, lasso it, hook it up to your pressic knot, bam. Now if you want a continuous ridge line that has hardware on there, these gizmos or gadgets to make it easier to set up your tarp, cottage industries like Dutchware Gear has them either in a soft shackle or a tater connector to attach to your tarp to adjust it to where you want it. First wrap the cordage around the tree. Now on one end is a Dutch hook that you use to attach to the tree. Then you wrap the other end around the tree. Attach the loose end to a gizmo called the wasp. The wasp slides up and down the zinget to the spot where you want to secure it. You take the cordage underneath and bring it around and over the hook or the tail end of the wasp. This will stop the wasp from moving on the ridge line. Take the loose cordage that is wrapped around the tree and put it over the bottom front hook and pull to make the ridge line taut. Wrap the loose cordage around the front antenna, then bring back around the wing to secure the ridge line. You take the Tato tarp connector, put one end through the D-ring of the tarp. Pull the tarp to where you want it on the ridge line. Then take the small hook on the other end of the tarp connector. Then you take the cordage and bring it up and over the top of the hook. Then under it to secure the tarp from moving on the ridge line. Now she's all set up. Now the second way to hang your tarp is a two-line tarp suspension system. It's just basically two pieces of cordage attached to each end of the tarp to each tree. Again, like I said earlier, you can use any type of cordage, but I prefer to use Zingit because it's so lightweight and waterproof. And there's two ways of doing it, and the first way is using knots to attach the tarp to the tree. Now there's different ways and different knots, but I'd like to show you how I would do it. First, I'd take a piece of cordage and cut it 20 feet long or 7 meters, and that's because you never know how far the trees are going to be, because you may use different trees than what your hammock is connected to. And then I'll tie a loop on one end and always burn off the excess so it doesn't fray. Put the loop end through the D-ring or grommet. Feed the other end through the loop. 
Then wrap the cordage around the tree to where you want it. Get the right amount of length over the hammock that you will need. Then tie off with a slip knot. Then you attach the other cordage the same way you did the first. Pull the cordage around the tree to the height that you want. Make sure you keep tension as you're doing this. Bring the cordage through the D-ring and pull it tight till the tarp is taut. Tie also with a slip knot. Now the downside to this system is that to adjust the tarp over the hammock you have to untie and retie the knots so it's perfectly set over the hammock. All you have to do is pull on it and adjust it. Now that I adjusted the tarp where I want it, I'll take the slip knots and tie it off with another slip knot and an overhand knot. You can use whatever knot you would like. Now at this time, my favorite way to hang a tarp is a two-line suspension system with hardware. And those are called stingers. And you can get them from Dutchware gear. But the problem is when you order them with the zing it spliced on them, they only come in 12 foot or three and a half meter length. But you can request to get them with 20 feet on there. But otherwise, you can buy the cordage separate and tie it to the stingers and they'll work just fine. Now to use this type of suspension, you attach the stingers, which has a little carabiner on end, to the D-ring. You take the stinger and you hook it up to the D-ring, bring the cordage around the tree, position where you want it over the hammock, Put the line over the hook, come around the front of the antenna, back behind the wing, and then you move to the other side. Wrap the cordage around the tree to the height you would like. Then attach the loose end around the tree to the stinger. Now to loosen the two line suspension to adjust over the tarp, you just pull the cordage back behind the wing, loosen it up, bring it back around, and then you go to the other side and adjust that so it's square over your tarp. Well, this concludes this video. In the next video, we're gonna look at the best way to tie down that tarp. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and insightful. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine. Thank you for watching, and God bless.